Hello, everybody. Um, I love to manage data. I love to manage structured data. And I think you do too, uh, so too, maybe at least one of you, some of you. And uh, I like to collaborate on them because I don't want to do everything on my own. Um, and I love Nextcloud. So bring it all together. And the first uh, use case on my uh, private side was uh, my kids were sick and I want to track the fever and to share it with my wife. That was the beginning of the story. And I thought a little bit about it and uh, think, okay, we need a combination of three different approaches. The first one is some kind of uh, data backend, or call it as you know. Um, we have an API to manage everything you want to do with the Tables app, of course. It's right now there, and we have an Android app for it. Thank you so much, because it's from the community, it's not from me. That's really great, you can use it right now. We have an API so you can uh, connect to every workflow engine, as you know. We have uh, the Analytics app that is uh, connected to the Tables app directly in Nextcloud. Um, and we have the Smart Packer integration stuff um, as seen this morning. On the next side, um, we want to collaborate on the data. So we want to share tables and views with uh, other users, with groups, um, and even in public, but that's not implanted yet, so that's not here. And we want to configure the permissions that you need if you share it. So you, it's possible to share a view or a table, but you can only read the data. Or even you cannot read it, but you can create new data. So you can submit new requests or whatever, but you can't see the submittings of other requests. And what's even possible is that you can filter those views on context individual filterings. So you can say, okay, the responsible is equals my username. And if you share this view with other view, uh, users, the Tables app will automatically insert the user app, uh, the user ID for sure, from the other user. So that makes it a little bit magic, and you don't have to create so much views, um, and you can, can share it via a group, and don't have to do it with every user. And the last is, please don't call it a spreadsheet, uh, just because it's named Tables. Um, it's more about small customer applications, or known as no coding platform, or you name it. Um, and think a little bit more of supporting workflows, working with those data and not just only store it. And the next thing um, I'm working on is that we want to organize tables and views and maybe even single rows into one context. So you can bring all the assets together to have, I call it context, maybe you have a better name, better name for me, so um, just talk to me, um, to bring it together, give it an icon in the menu bar, and you, have, you can create on the, on the front end, your own small application within your Nextcloud context. If you've never seen it before, this is how it looks like today. On the left side, the tables um, with some views under the vacation request, just an example. We have shared tables, we see who, who's the sender of the sharing, we have the data in the middle part, and if you open up the sidebar, you see some sharings, integration, and a little bit metadata on the top. So, if you'd like to contribute to this Tables app, you're very welcome. Um, we have very interesting, interesting discussions on GitHub about new features and also for technical challenges, and we have a lot of them. So um, it would be really nice to have some more ideas and approaches on that part. Um, let's discuss it. Pull requests are always welcome, for sure. You can fix bugs if we have some, um, and we can enhance features. Um, just three ideas I want to show you. Um, if, you like, if you ask yourself, okay, how to proceed, how can I work together, um, we could add some notification for triggers on new rows. So if somebody inserted it, give me a notification, bring it to my mobile phone, forward it to my, to my watch, and I can see a notification on my watch if somebody inserted a new row in a shared table. That's, I think it's a cool feature. It's not too hard to, to, uh, to implement. And some other ideas. So, time is over, that's... <laughs> um, when I started to develop here, it was, it was a quite hard story to get it all up, uh, make the setup, understanding how these different components work together and so on. So, if you are um, in front of the same problem, just ping me, talk to us, we can help you, makes it a little bit easier to, for your setup, so you can really start working for the interesting things. So, thank you very much, give me a talk, give me a ping, um, and enjoy.